another beautiful sunrise in Bahia de Los Angeles takes us back to the killing grounds. As you can see, the fish arms, one, has passengers and we upgraded to a bigger boat because we had six passengers. If you can see all of the rod holders and space on the boat, just be sure to book in advance. Manny, a.k.a. Canelo, starts off with live bait and hooks the first fish. There were fish coming up all around the boat, as you can see. It was a busy morning for everyone. I see more and more people braving the journey to Bahia de Los Angeles from Los Angeles, California, or San Diego. It is a nine hour drive to this destination. You will cross borders, and if you do not speak Spanish, there is a language barrier. If you want to come to a fishing destination and fish the Sea of Cortez, and you don't want to spend the whole trip on a boat, this would be your best option. You can come fish from 5 a.m. to noon and spend the rest of your day in the town or on the beach or at your hotel and you won't be restricted to a larger fishing vessel. Some people do go to San Felipe and fish off of a mothership that carries pongas. If that is something that you are into, I believe the boat's name is the Tony Reyes out of San Felipe. You can book trips here in the United States in advance. But if you want to go all the way to Bahia de Los Angeles and fish pongas in the morning and have your afternoons in the town where you can eat your catch at the restaurant, Bahia de Los Angeles is your location to be. As you can see, there are no swells, there are no chop. It's beautiful. And depending on the time of the year that you pick your trip, you will have different options of fish to catch. At this time of the year in October, the yellowtail are healthy and strong from feeding on all of the palometa and mackerel. They're in abundance. You do not need bait to catch them. You can catch all you want with slow pitch jigs, swim bait lures, yo-yos, and surface irons. This time of the year, we like to come and load up on the yellowtail. Fill our freezers and pass fish out to our family and friends. That is the whole purpose of the trip. During your stay in Bahia de Los Angeles, try to use your time to make connection with all of the local fishermen and restaurants. Follow them on social media platforms. Give them likes, comments, and share their videos and posts. It will help bring revenue to the community. If you are involved in any type of fishing, clothing, or apparel, this is also a good destination to supply gear for advertisement purposes. I like to give a big shout out to Angler Wear for doing so. As you can see, a lot of their gear is being worn in all of my videos. If you are a YouTuber or you do videos that you post on social media, it's important to know that a lot of these pongas have radios 
and they play music and you will get copyright strikes if you play or post it to YouTube. That's why a lot of my videos have voiceovers because there's music playing in the background from one of the pongas. On these videos, you'll see that this is Manny, aka Canelo's point of view on this fishing trip. He will be moving cameras around the back side of the boat, capturing footage throughout the day. Everyone is bait fishing. Me and G Thing are yo yo jigging and slow pitch jigging. I caught eight yellowtail back to back on the West Coast Jiggers. 200 gram jig it was a green sardine color in a fast pitch motion they were biting I was getting the beat down repeatedly I sustained the most injuries on this day to my back and my shoulders. Healthy supply of fish, active and hungry. Eating the jig, eating the live bait, done fishing by 11 a.m. was the norm. We did go around the south side to cast for rooster fish and big eye jacks. We did not locate those fish, but when we got back to the room, we started to process the fish. We like to pat the fish dry before vacuum sealing them and putting them in the freezer. We bring our own deep freezer as well as the one that's supplied by the hotel. It's important not to put your fish in fresh water before vacuum sealing. Rinse in salt water, pat dry, and vacuum seal. It gives you your best seal and your longest shelf life. As you can see, this is not our first rodeo and we kind of have the system down. It's important to us that we have transport this fish in the best condition possible so that when we give to friends and family that they're receiving the best product. Once we were done, we went to the beach and casted small coast snipers in the surf. I was fortunate to catch some baby rooster fish. All were released safely. I did catch some Corvina, croaker fish, and barracuda that were released as well. But once they saw us releasing them, some of the locals asked for us to keep some so that they can take home. So we started to keep barracuda and croaker fish as well as corvina to give to the locals to take home. They were very appreciative of that. As the sun started to go down, the bite heated up caught more rooster fish, more corvina, more barracuda. It was just the perfect day to surf fish. If you can see, we were also catching mackerel off the beach. Tons of bait and fish in the area. The water was 83 degrees Please enjoy these pictures from our days 
in Bahia, the Los Angeles. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share the videos as is much appreciated. I will continue to record my trips down to Bay of LA and any of the fishing trips that I do and bring them to you here on my channel. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to Fish Arms and Captain Misael Martinez for making this happen five times a year. I appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to Anglerware for supplying the gear that protects us through all of the harsh weather. I want to give a shout out to Las Vientos for always housing us and showing us the top A-class service. I want to also give a shout out to Lizette and her restaurant for always supplying five-star dinners, lunches, and a great ambiance for us to share our meals together. And I also want to give a shout out to all of the people of Bahia de Los Angeles for accommodating us and allowing us to come down and spend time with them. I hope to see you guys soon in my next video on my next adventure. It is your boy Hellboy and I just came back from Bahia de Los Angeles and I'm going to make fresh ceviche out of yellowtail. Today uh, my ingredients will be fresh yellowtail. Uh, big shout out to uh, Fish Arms Sport Fishing Outfit out there in Bahia de Los Angeles and Captain Misael Martinez. Uh, for putting us on the fish as usual and um, always being the best captain that's out there. I'm going to be using some fresh limes that I squeezed out here. I have some fresh uh, diced tomatoes, onions, and cilantro. I have a little added ingredient that I like is one orange, uh, some avocados, uh, fresh cilantro, some salt, um, some small chili serranos. These are not jalapenos. Um, and a cucumber. I like to put cucumber in there. So stand by. I'll be back with everything prepped. With my fish diced to size, I add my sea salt and lime juice in a bowl and let rest for two hours. I dice all my other items, and once the fish is cured, I add the cucumbers, tomatoes, cilantro, and the other half of onion in the bowl. I mix 
with the cured fish after draining the lime juice and your dish is ready. Enjoy. Again, I want to give a big shout out to Fish Arms and Captain Misael Martinez. Big shout out to Anglerware as well for always hooking me up with the right gear for the mission. Final product of the ceviche is hitting. Oh, I thought he wanted to get a picture for his customer with their gas he gave him. No? It's bigger than he, I thought it was. He woke up. Yeah, I, was, I hit the bottom and I just started twerking up. Like 20 cranks up he hit. I got color, huh? Where's the gas? Gas No, the gas Man. Stick him. Bad guy. Oh, no, 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 no,